Hey guys, welcome to Windows Studio. And yes, I'm back with another great exciting tutorial. And if you guys haven't subscribed my channel yet, don't forget to click on subscribe and don't forget to click on that bell icon. So with that note, let's jump into the tutorial. Here we are in Photoshop and let's create a new work composition. So for that go to file, create new and for now I'll just create a letter size. Click over here and click on create. And now let's fill the background color with uh, something like this dark color. Alright and uh, let's drag and drop this image over here. Let's make it a little bigger. So go to edit, free transform, and let's make it bigger. Maybe something like this size. All right. Now let's drag and drop this image over here. Let's make it a little bigger. Let's drag another image. And let's make it a little bigger. So go to edit, free transform. Maybe something like this size. Alright, let's move it all the way on the bottom. Let's drag this image over here. Make some arrangement, maybe just move a little bit on this side. Let's rotate it. Let's make this a little smaller. Control T. Now let's do some color adjustment. So for that select on layer one, go to filter, go to camera raw filter. Uh, let's increase the clarity, increase the highlights, increase the texture a little bit, increase the shadow, and decrease the vibrance. Maybe something like this. Alright, select on layer five, go to filter, go to camera raw filter. Increase the exposure a little bit, drop down the highlights, increase the shadows, increase the, increase the texture a little bit, increase the clarity, decrease the vibrance, do something like this, and go to saturation and let's drop down the saturation for orange. And let's change the hue to something like this color. Alright, go to filter, go to camera roll filter. And same thing, increase the clarity, increase the shadows, decrease the highlights a little bit. And 
maybe change to blue to something like this. Drop down the saturation for orange. Increase exposure a little bit. And let's do some noise reduction. Alright. Now select on layer 3. Go to filter. Go to camera raw filter. Again, increase the clarity, increase the shadows, decrease the highlights a little bit down. And go to hue and saturation. Drop down the orange a little bit. Change the hue to something like this. Okay, okay. Now, same thing, select on layer 4. Go to camera raw filter. Increase clarity. Decrease shadows. Decrease highlights. And saturation drop down orange. And here, let's change it something like this. And increase the exposure a little bit. And drop down the shadow saturation a little bit. Alright. So here we have this one. Now, Select on layer 5 again and go to filter, go to filter gallery and from filter gallery select and cut out and let's play around with the label number and keep somewhere over 5 Apply the same filter gallery with the same setting and select a layer for go to filter, filter gallery and apply a layer 1 too. So go to filter, apply filter gallery. Alright, now let's drag and drop this texture image and let's make it all the way bigger. So go to edit, free transform. Yes, so let's change it to multiply and let's drop down the opacity maybe somewhere over here all right now let's add some shapes so for that go to pen tool and i'll just randomly draw some shapes around here this lot and select on this lot and click on load so let's see how easy you can achieve this red ray effect and let's drop down the opacity a little bit down Let's 
put it all the way to the bottom and just change the color to white and let's make it a little smaller Now let's duplicate the text layer, so select this text layer and drag and drop over here. on the bottom all right now so that's the final and hope you guys learned something new from this video and see you guys in the next video